not the acid guy. Alright. Now, once I get my perks, I'll be set. i basically set for the game. If only I could get the shield. If only I could get the shield. If I could get the shield and the golden spork, Hell's Redeemer, Vitrolic Withering, like, if you go down with that, like... I mean, obviously, you're gonna go down eventually, but still, like, that... That 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 just takes you to round like what the spork is a one knife kill to like round like thirty one, I think around there. Uh, the hell's redeemer I think is infinite damage, and then the vitrolic withering is just a vitrolic withering. Like <laughs> it's like it. That's an unreal combo. All right. I don't even taste it anymore. Should I get the fuel? I, mean, I really have no need to go back. Unless I want to train there. Damn, set up so early. Round 13. Wow. Set up for a two box challenge. Like, if I had, uh, I could, like, I would have to feed all the dogs and stuff. It would have been such a longer process. Right, let me build this real quick. Jeez, I'm gonna have to get past this guy. <laughs> He's dragging me all the way back here. All right. I'm gonna take him out. I remember this. Get the vitrolic withering. Oh, baby. So we're basically set for the rest of the game uh, through the parameters of this challenge. Like, I've got all the perks. Never get that door. I've got all the perks that I need. Well, I do have like all the perks I can get besides that shot, but you know, so I'm set. This thing with double tap and electric cherry and speed glow, it's gonna eat. Only flopper was in this map. I like hated like <coughs> you don't understand like when they had flopper like and they teased it like all the time like oh my gosh it just got me in my feels man like flopper was just unreal like and like and they didn't it was like so mean like I mean it's not like me it's track obviously they're gonna do some trolls but uh it was just like annoying because. Uh, is the warden here? Alright, buddy. Oh. Wait, he's still not dead. What? What? Alright. Yeah, as I was saying, Flopper, like, when they teased it so many times, like, again, like, it got me in my feels, like, uh, when they teased it first on Dire Eyes, like, that was awful. That ticked me off a lot because, you know, I love Flopper, and then they did it in this when they, like, put it on, like, the ship or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It was, like, not on the ship. It was, like, down at the docks. It was, like, on the other, like, side, and you couldn't get that or Mule Kick. I mean, Mule Kick, I, for some reason, I used to love Mule Kick. Now that I'm like a, now that I play zombies like a lot more, like I realize new kicks just like it's not really a necessity. It, it, it sometimes. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh wow. It's, it's only around 15. 15. This thing, this thing's just eating. All right. Um. Yeah, so as I was saying, I used to think like Mule Kick, like when they first came out, when it first came out in Kino, like I used to think it was like you needed Mule Kick, like it helped you like so much. But like now I realize like it's really like not anything special. Like I think I just liked it because it was new. But I mean, you just don't need you just don't need Mule Kick, and it hurts your gun rotation too. <laughs> I guess sometimes like it can be useful, but. 
Nah, not all the time. It's it's mostly just gonna hurt you more than it's gonna help you. These were flying through. All right. <sighs> the one thing about Meal Kick though, when it when we had it on uh, Kino, and you could get. It was like my favorite setup in the world. Like, say you're like past round 20 and you have like a lot of points and stuff, because like it's so easy to get set up on Kino. Like, the my favorite setup in the entire world. I mean, obviously get all the perks, but then get uh, did I drop now? Get uh, the Thunder Gun, like the Zeus Cannon upgraded, the Porter's X2 Ray Gun, and then the uh, Skull Crusher, the upgraded M16. Like, that's where I love Mule Kick because that was like so helpful. Uh, just say like, oh wow, I probably should have, right, I got concentrate, but as I was saying, like that was so helpful, um, to get Mule Kick there because the Skull Crusher was just a beast. Like, I remember like watching Syndicate videos on that and he was, he would just like praise it because you could like, you, like, it still killed zombies. Oh, let me get that. It still killed zombies like in like the forties and fifties, like consistently, like it was wild, like. It, it, it was like it still killed zombies like so late in in the game and it, it, I mean obviously it had a limited ammo pack but like with all the points you would get each round of Kino you just make it back like you just you would just make all the points back basically and then yeah like that, that was my favorite setup the grenade launcher in that sucks so bad all right let me start using this let me turn the trick on. like the grenade launcher in that I hate Cause that thing makes you go down so much. Probably should have waited a second before I did that. <coughs> Man, I gotta play like I cannot wait till I start playing Black Ops One. Okay, all right, come on, gotta recharge, trap. Oh wow. Man, the acid gets so dirty right now. Like, all right, wait, let me just. This is going. This is going good. Ooh. Got a drink. There we go. There's no rhyme or reason for any of this. I think with the best two guns, it probably is like the ray gun still looks really good in this map. The best two guns for this for this challenge, like if if you had like the god two box challenge, it'd probably probably be the ray gun in this or the galil in this. I don't know either one. See, my only problem with this spot is like <coughs> it's so narrow, and they because they come from like all around you. Like if the uh, if the bridge didn't have all the wardens spawn in, that would definitely be the go-to training spot. <coughs> it's still a pretty good spot though. Whatever you once were, it's not what you are now. It definitely helps has that stuff in the middle, so they have to run like a circle around you, except for like that part. But like that definitely helps. Oh, I should have sprayed my ass again. Right. Let me get a bunch of them. Oh, let me just. Okay, that was close to death. Ooh, let me get that. And that. The acid get is basically like it's like the crossbow from Black Ops One, pack punched on cocaine. Like, oh my gosh, I love this. 
I love this gun. And it's like, it's just so, oh my gosh. With electric cherry on it, and since there's three in the clip, like that just makes it so much better. This should help a little. For some reason I used to like never get the ass again. I think it's because like I would only play this map co-op. And I would like so I would only play this map co-op. And I uh I would never like get the uh like usually one of my friends would get be the one getting the one I got. So like I and plus when I got the, for some reason I was against the acid guy for a little while. I don't really know. Kind of a picky zombies player back in the day. Now I just like whatever keeps me alive. And uh, just some fun guns. Like the Locust in Black Ops 3. Like, I love that gun so much. Another Max ammo. Right. We all gotta go sometime. He just went now. Crap, I didn't reload my. Uh, <laughs> Challenge I might want to do at some point uh, soon is like uh, like a race to like a certain round. Like I have to get to like a certain round a certain time. I still gotta figure that out like what round and like how much time I'm gonna get. But that should be fun. I'm definitely gonna do that at some point. Right. Okay. Like, this is the only, I would say, the only, uh, time, like, I would like a carpenter. <laughs> just because, oh, great. I got this guy. Brutus, just leave, bro. I hate you so much. Where is it? Oh. Killed him? How? I did not think I killed him. Let's read that again. <clears throat> I didn't even like. Did I even hit him with the ice cat? I don't even know. Like, the thing is, if I got the Vitrolic Withering in, like, a race to a certain round challenge, like, <clears throat> like that would help speed the rounds up so fast. I'm just going to wait till the trap recharges. Because I do not want to have an uh, overwhelming amount of zombies in here. I'm gonna traps recharged. All right. Oh no! Why did I activate it? All right, that was stupid. I don't know why I did that. All right. Sometimes I just do stuff in this game that I just don't like. Oh crap! Right, I'm gonna have to use my patrol with a lot turn. <coughs> Another thing that I like for some reason like I I have in zombies like what I do is like when I'm given like a really good weapon. Like the vitriolic weathering, like I don't know, I've used it like kind of good, good amount this this time. But like sometimes, like I just like don't use them. Like I don't know why. Like gobble gum, like they're there for you to use, but for some reason I just like rarely ever use my like good gobble gum. 
like it's just like stupid like it's like I want it's like I have the right intent behind it like I want to save him but if you save him for so long and never use him it's not gonna work and like that's the same with like the blender gun and stuff like that like when I get like a good wonder weapon sometimes like for some reason I just don't use it and I just like use my other gun I mean right now it kind of makes sense though <clears throat> because the mtar is still effective and it gets me points gosh I have 35,000 points wow Amount of insta kills and double points I've got in this game. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? You should have spammed when you had the chance. And I gotten so many nukes as well. Gosh. Like if this was like a race to like round thirty or thirty five or something like that, like I'd be flying through. Not through like the definitely not from like the first half, like the, from like round 15 on, I'll be doing these so fast. <coughs> okay, let me wait a second. Let me get that. Well let this and do work. All right. I haven't gotten one carpenter the whole entire game. Only one of us will be walking away from this. Okay. Alright, that did not go as planned. I don't know why there was like 10 zombies coming out. That's why I gotta use my ass again. Alright, crap. I gotta wait for the trap to... Go ahead, kill me. I'm, so, I'm somehow gonna have to make my way to the gondola. Alright. That was a big fucking boom. Like a jug. Dang it, that was such a dumb down. I mean, not really. Like, I, jeez, oh, that was that was scary. I, I literally just like turned, I like turned the corner, and there was like five zombies coming up. Oh god. Oh no. I thought that was gonna kill me for a second. What the heck? It didn't kill him. Give me jug, no, give me jug. Right. Thank God for the vitriolic withering. <laughs> I, got one of the fuel cans. Like, I might just like go train and pack punch, honestly. Like I feel so like I just do I just do not like training. And right, I'm gonna be I'm gonna go down again and try to keep up with this. I'm just, like I just do not like training in the cafeteria. We all gotta go sometime. You just went now. Another mysterious way to <coughs> So the only problem with uh like training at Pack Punch is if you go down right you are screwed okay they're still spawning you know what happens now don't you one day we're burning down the house with all of us in it yeah I, don't know. I might just go for training back lunch if I go down again like the next like, couple rounds I think I'm gonna go that's such an easier spot to train 